Oh, hey. So back in 2015, our area got hit with a tornado and we had a tree over here. It was, a, I think it was a pecan or oak tree and it fell over our neighbor's house. This is a remodeled house right now. And so we were thinking about putting another tree here, but a nursery was saying that it's, you're not supposed to put a tree in the same spot because it won't grow so well. So what we're going to do is we're going to show, in this video, we're going to show you how we're going to build a hexagon planter. And we're going to start right now. What's going on YouTube Gardener? It's your boy, Sydney from the Naked Garden Channel. In this video, we're going to show you how we're going to be building a hexagon planter box. Now, you can use 2x6, 2x4s, 2x10s, 2x12s. We're using 2x6 pressure treated wood. Uh, we have some leftover lumber for some projects that we did before, especially our raised beds. I put the card above here uh, showing you how we built our beds. Uh, we did a prototype of this and gave it up to the Boltor uh, family. Uh, they have an excellent YouTube channel. I'll put a link down there below. Uh, but it's a very simple project. You'll just uh, need to start it off. We already have our wood uh, at 30 inches and uh, uh, the block right there. Uh, so that way all we have to do is just keep on adding our blocks uh, or our wood on here and going from there. So we don't have to keep on measure. kind of speeds up the uh, process. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get started. We're going to get our PPE, our, our glasses, and our earplugs, and go from there. So let's get growing. Alright, so now we got our pieces for the outer uh, portion of the uh, planter box. Now we're going to start working on the inner part. We're on that one, uh, we're going to make it about two and a half inches smaller and uh, we'll show you why. Alright, so let's start setting that up. So as you can see, we got the perimeter done. Now, if you want, you can stay, um, do your box like this, but you know us, or at least me, I like to do stuff extra. So we're gonna put a inner locking circle inside there. I marked uh, 12 inches uh, along each edge of these. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in and uh, screw them up, and then we'll put them out in the bed and fill our container soil uh, filled the beds with our container sword that we made. All right, so let's go. All right, so this is how it's going to look. Now all we got to do is screw it in, and then we'll set it over there uh, in the uh, where that tree is that was at, and then we'll fill it with the soil. And then Mrs. Naked Gardener can do whatever she wants to do plant in here, along with some of my propagating the uh, basil. Mm -hmm. So we got it set up. We got some cardboard uh, boxes that act as a uh, weed barrier. So that way grass and weeds won't be able to come up. Uh, I'll probably center this a little bit better. And I'm gonna, after we fill it, I'm going to cut off around the edges up here. And we're gonna get this all level. But now we're just gonna add some soil, some potting mix that we made, and then that will be it. Okay, 
as you can see, you got the hexagon planter bed all filled up. Now we just got to decide what type of plants to put in there. I think this should be the last of the DIY projects. So, if you like these kind of DIY projects, we'll put a card above of our playlist of other DIY projects. And until the next video, let's grow together.